Hi everybody, my name is Manel. I'm the recruitment lead for Girl Scouts Heart of Central California. We're located in Sacramento, which is the capital of the state of California. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are actually going to do a recipe for tabbouleh salad. It's actually a Mediterranean dish. One of the things I love the most is traveling. I get to discover new foods um, and cultures through their food. So as a family, we do a lot of traveling. Um, this is one of my favorites. So um, for the sake of convenience, I've already done all the ingredients so you don't have to watch me chopping, but I'm still gonna kind of walk you through what I do um, and what the ingredients look like so that you can find them easily in the grocery store. Okay, so um, tabbouleh salad actually starts with um, bulgur. So I'm gonna show you just kind of what it looks like. Um, I would recommend for this particular recipe to get the very fine. I didn't do that with this, but um, once you cook it, this is what it's gonna look like. I always recommend for this, I like salad to be cold. And so once you've made it, you can put it in a bowl. Um, and then what you can do is put it in the refrigerator. I also like to put a little olive oil in. That just gives it a really nice texture and kind of smoothest when you eat it. What I like to do is put in parsley. I feel like the true ingredient to this recipe is parsley. So I have some um, finely chopped, but what I'm actually gonna show you is what it looks like if you're buying it in the grocery store. This is just my container that I have. So this is the curly um, parsley and I've already cut it up. So I'm just gonna put that in my bowl. And if you're not a big parsley person, you don't have to put as much in. I love it. So um, I'm probably gonna put more in after I do the video because I just love it that way. Then you're also gonna put in mint, which is really nice. Um, I will show you what that looks like. So I usually recommend like 12 to 15 leaves, but um, this is just mint if you were to buy it in your produce department. Again, this has all been washed and cleaned and dried. It's really important um, that you dry anytime you use an herb like this because you don't want it to be all soggy. So that's one of my little tips there. You're gonna put that in. I'm a huge fan of color when it comes to doing any recipe. Um, I, I go with the theory of, I like to have a rainbow on my plate. So I've got a Roma tomato. I do find for this particular recipe, if you have a really firm one, um, it's gonna cut better. And make sure to remove the seeds because you don't want to eat the seeds and then to drain any remaining juice because that's going to just make it soggier and you don't want that, especially when you've already put the olive oil in there. So I'm going to mix that up a little bit and you can kind of see how there's a lot of parsley in there. And then one of the last main ingredients that I like to do is put in just um, spring onion. I like a lot of onion. Um, the reason why my bowl is small is this is just a little batch for me. Um, my daughter and my husband don't eat this. Um, this is just a batch for me. And then usually you can use four onions, but this one's pretty big. The one that I cut was twice this size, so I only used one. But normally I would say two to four onions. You could probably put that in there. One of the things I really love to season to taste is a special cooking place that's at Saratoga Springs in downtown Disney. I always make sure to pick this up. It's a Himalayan salt um, with a mixture of other spices and garlic. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Again, you're just gonna season it to taste. And then the final thing is your lemon juice. Quick little tip for lemons. Um, if you actually roll them on the counter, that helps to kind of activate um, the juice. It also softens it up a little bit when you are cooking. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then what I do is I get a strainer so that I don't get seeds in my salad because that's not gonna be good. Um, and then I just strain a little bit of that lemon juice in there. Again, it's to taste. Um, if you decide you wanna use a different utensil, you can do that. Um, but I find that by rolling it, that makes it easier when I'm squeezing, it kind of softens it up and makes it easier for me to get the actual juice that I wanna use out of it. Okay, we have now completed the recipe for tabbouleh salad. As you can see, there's a lot of great color in there. Um, it's really yummy, I'm actually gonna taste some. We've gone to the Mediterranean, which would be Italy. We've gone to another country. You've experienced a little bit of that culture and hopefully you will be able to try this yourself. Like I said, I'm gonna try a little bit. It's 
sure to get a little bit in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so good, you guys. Yum. So hopefully I'll see you next week and we will do another recipe or we will do something fun in my kitchen. Bye, everybody.